Hey guys, okay, so this is a basic drag look. Uh, we're starting with TV paint stick. I use NB1. Uh, I'm starting out with just a regular makeup sponge. Make sure that when you're using paint stick, you understand that a little bit goes a long way, but when you're do doing a drag face, you want to make sure that you use enough of it that you can create layers. I'm then going in with clown white and using that to create my highlight, kind of just to create a base so that even if I sweat off the powder, I'll still have a basic highlight on my face. Again, a little bit goes a long, long way, and you don't want to use too much because if you do, once it dries with the powder on it, it will crack and it will not be pretty. Say hello to my roommate. Next, I go in with number 10 concealer from Coastal Scents, and I'm just applying this with a normal foundation brush. I believe it's from e.l.f. Um, same principle here, just creating a basic uh, base for my contouring uh, so that even if I'm dancing hard throughout the night, I'll still be able to know that my contour will stay in place. Going back in with the same sponge that I used for the clown white, just to blend that all in. And then I'm applying my powder. For my face powder, I usually use uh, Extra Coverage Translucent. From, Coast, from Cody Powder, and just making sure that I cover everything with a nice thick base of powder to create a nice smooth finish, brushing all that off with the big fan brush. Going in now with uh, one of my new favorite contours, it's the Salon Perfect's Brow Defining Kit, but I use the darkest brown as a contour. and. As you can see, just going back over where I did the concealer, and then blending that out a little bit. You then want to go in with Cody powder again to do the highlight. I used Naturally Neutral for my highlight this time. Next, I'm going in with a, you can't really see it because of the lighting, but it's a pink blush from Coastal Scents. And then reapplying my highlight one more time. We're going to let this cook while we do our eyes. So I'm going in with my black aqua color and just shaping out my crease, my basic liner. And then I go in and I go ahead and blend in the highlight on the forehead so that you can then use Clown White to start applying the eyes. Now again, remember that Clown White will crack when it dries if you have too much on your face, so go sparingly. A little bit goes a long, long way. Once you get it in a basic shape, if you want to kind of thin out the edges with your finger, Works perfectly just fine. And then we're going to go in with the blue eyeshadow from Coastal Scents. I don't know the name of it. Um, be sure that when you're putting out eyeshadow over Clown White that you're dabbing it on first. You don't want to try and blend anything until all the cream is covered just because otherwise you'll gunk up your brush and then you have to clean it and it's just this big hole ordeal and it's not fun. So then I'm taking Super White to apply to the Clown White over the blue and then blending that together. And then, even though you can't see it very well, I'm going in with the black. Um, I use a Ben Nye blush. I don't remember what it's called, but I will include it in the description. And blending the black up into the blue. Go ahead and apply Clown White now to your eyelid. You want to make sure that you do your eyelid after you do your brow bone. That way you don't have any fallout onto the whatever you do for your lid. And don't worry if you end up messing up and going too far over the black. You can always uh, correct that with black liner afterwards. 
I'm then going in with a green from Coastal Scents. And then I'll go in with a little bit of super white and blend that up into the green. Take a fan brush and brush away any excess. As you can see, I'm now going in back in with the liner and just kind of going back over my liner, creating the look that I want. This is where you would go in and you would correct any mistakes you made with the clown white. You next want to do any detail work that you have planned. Go ahead and blend in your highlight to your contour and draw your eyebrows on. Remember, eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins, so don't worry if they don't match all the time. And unfortunately, my program decided to cut me off before this video could be finished, but that's the basic look for the eyes. And here's the finished product.